Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is, who will you listen to? We are bombarded daily in the news and in various media as to what we should be doing or who we should believe in. Today's political environment, uh, it doesn't matter on which side of the fence you're on, the politicians are creating a mess for the people they're supposedly representing. Some of us have even seen in our churches the supposed leaders of those churches doing things that are considered immoral and in some cases illegal. Yet we still don't know what to do or what to believe. There are either folks talking to some of us about different gods, not just the one true God, but different gods. Christ came to earth to let us know that there is only one true God. Even though he never committed a sin, he was later persecuted and died for our sins. Believe in Christ and you'll be saved from your sins no matter what it is. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21 reads, For God made Christ who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. If you want to be successful in believing God, then you got to have faith in Him. The kind of faith I'm talking about, it will gain you favor in God's eyes. Favor isn't always fair. When God bless you with favors, others won't understand why you're blessed the way you are but you have to put your faith in Christ and that's who you should believe in. For favor is a good thing and nothing negative. It's always a positive thing, no matter what other people may think of you as a result of your favor. In order to keep favor in your life, that you may have to change the people in your environment. There are three kinds of people you need to have in your life. Number one, those that add to your life. These could be your friends, co-workers, your spouse, or your neighbors. Two, those that protect you. This could be the same group of people, but they take extra care to make sure your needs are taken care of. Number three are those that correct you. These have to be people that you trust. You just can't go around getting advice from just anyone. You need to pray to God about these people so you can know that these are the kind of people that you can go to, that you can consult with, and get advice from. Above all, we need to look to God for all our needs. First Chronicles 29, 11-14 reads, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on the earth is yours, O Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as one who is over all things. Wealth and honor come from you alone, and you rule over everything. Power and might are in your hand, and at your discretion people are made great and given strength. O oh, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and who are my people, that we could give anything to you? Everything we have has come from you, and we give you only what you first gave us. This scripture is there to remind us that for whatever you have or whatever you need, it's all in God's hand. No matter how you came about it or how you acquired it or how anyone may have given it to you, it's all from God. You need to give God the thanks for the things that you have and for the life that you live. All in all, you have to be careful about who you listen to. Seek God for so you can get wise counsel from people if that's who you need to talk to. But you can always go to the Lord in prayer and in confidence. Keep in mind that the people you go to could be there as a positive thing in your life. Others could mean things to be negative. But you have to be aware of which ones are going to be to your benefits and which people you need to avoid. 
watch out for the kind of news you listen to because some news are meant to mislead you. I'm not recommending a certain news outlet to go to or anything like that, but pay attention to the details of things that you hear about and you see about you. Ask God for what you need to pay attention to and what you need to believe because some of the things you're given is not something you need to believe in. Read the Bible. That's a good source of information that will help you understand how God works. But over and all, just can't listen to anybody. So you need to ask God to whom you can seek wise counsel and who you should listen to. Because not all news is the kind of news you need to hear, nor the things that you need to abide by. Most of the news today is so doggone negative, it would depress you. So you really have to be careful about how much you involve yourself in the news. People will try to mislead you for various reasons, but that's why it's important to stay in prayer that you know that God will reveal to you the kind of people you need to be around and the ones you need to avoid. And as always, be blessed.